Welcome to Authorpreneur TV, real talk about what it takes to make it as an author in the digital age. So I want to talk today about standing out from the crowd. And, you know, as an author online, as an author in, you know, the digital age when there's millions of authors and tons of people who have books out there now, um, how do you stand out? You know, how do you set yourself apart so that you will become somebody who rises above the crowd and gets noticed and, of course, gets a readership because of that? So this is a question I've always kind of been thinking about since I started my journey to being the author that I am today and, you know, to continue on to becoming the author that I want to be. And I just really been thinking about what makes me different. And I think for me, this was a very hard question to answer because, well, growing up, I just really didn't feel very, you know, different. I mean, I felt very like plain. I didn't feel like I stood out in any way. I definitely felt different than other people as far as like, I knew I thought different than most people. And I knew that I wanted something, you know, I had goals and it didn't really seem like a lot of people around me did, you know, just like when I was a kid, but I've always kind of just been somebody who wanted more. And it was hard for me growing up because it was like, I didn't feel like anyone understood me and I didn't feel like, you know, I stood out at all. So I just really felt like I kind of blended into the background, you know, brown hair, brown eyes, just kind of like really plain Jane. And, you know, that was something that when I came into being an entrepreneur full-time and an authorpreneur, you know, uh, full-time, it, it really, hit me and that I needed to find that thing that made me stand out and that made me different. And it really took me quite a few years. So I've been doing, you know, online business stuff since 2008. And I definitely am now just starting to feel like I'm finding that thing that makes me different. And so that thing is really, for me anyway, it's um, mindset. So it's really teaching writers about success mindset and about how to be successful from the inside out and really focusing on, you know, what you want to create and then doing it with your mind, with your thoughts, with the words that you use. And that makes me different than most of the coaches and, you know, even authors and a lot of um, just people who teach story out there. It makes me different because they're not talking about that stuff or they're not talking about it as much as I do. So that's that thing that kind of makes me different than other people. So because of it, I stand out. So that's what you want to be thinking about for yourself, just as you start to get yourself out there more and as you grow your author brand and you start to, you know, get your books out there and gain a readership, you really want to be thinking about what is it that makes you stand out, you know? So I have a client who is, I'm working with right now, she's actually um, writing her very first book and she's going to be publishing it in October and I'm really excited for it. It's, we've been working really hard on it for the last six to seven months already. And so I'm, I'm excited to just get it out there and to, you know, get to see her with it in her hands. So it's going to be really cool. But in my mind, something, she just launched her website a couple of weeks back. And something that stands out to me for her was that, you know, she blogs about travel and she writes travel adventure, you know, fantasy stories. And I think that blend is awesome because she stands out as someone who, you know, doesn't just write about this stuff, but she's actually experienced it. You know, she's gotten out there and she's traveled her whole life. That's been kind of who she's been. She grew up traveling. She travels now. And it's something that's just a part of who she is. And so what helps her to, you know, stand out is that she combines that and she really has that experience that she can put into her fiction and bring the story to life in a way that someone who hasn't been somewhere or who, you know, hasn't traveled enough can really create it like that, you know. So I think that's something that's really cool about her is that combining, you know, the things that she loves and the things that make her who she is and bringing that into her fiction. And then, of course, getting that out there into the world with, you know, her blogs and with her social media and her books that she writes. So it's pretty cool. And I think that that's really the question you want to be thinking about when you are, you know, just working on your website, working on your author brand type stuff is just what makes you stand out. What makes you different? What can you bring to the table that's slightly different than what someone else has? Now, I will say, obviously, most importantly, that what makes you stand out is you. So, you know, you being you, showing up as you every single day, you know, and being who you are. And, of course, who you are is going to change. So, you know, one day you may be someone else and the next day, you know, you've learned something or you've gained some experience or some viewpoint or, you know, perspective that's going to change that for you and you're going to be a different version of yourself, you know. So when I look at my website, my, you know, a website that I rebranded about a year and a half ago at this point, in 2014, I rebranded it. And 
it's, it's funny because I look at it now and it, it looks good, but it, it's not me. It's not who I am today because who I am today is much more edgy and out there and, you know, just really more me than who I was back then. So I, you know, when I made my website back then, I had pictures taken by one of my favorite photographers and I was really excited about it, but I'd never done a professional shoot before. So I didn't know how to, you know, capture my personality on, on a camera and how to show people who I am without, you know, being cheesy or without, um, you know, just coming across as just really nerdy, which is what I am, you know? So, um, but I mean, I didn't want to come across as like completely just like this, you know, big doofus who loves story, but that's kind of who I am. So, um, I'm sure that does come across in some of it. But the whole idea is that was a year and a half ago. And so I'm not that person anymore. I'm, I mean, I'm still that person in some ways, but I'm a much more, um, you know, refined and um, grown version of that self because I have learned more. I've gotten more training and I've worked with more mentors since then. And I've, you know, done a lot of journaling and just discovering of, you know, internal things that I had going on that I'm, that I've dealt with. And it's cool because now you get to a place where you feel like, man, you become more of yourself. But that's what you want to be putting out there into the world and that's what you want to be doing through your author brand. So, you know, whatever it is about you that makes you different, that's the kind of stuff you want to be thinking about and focusing on when you come up with your content for your blog, when you think about, you know, how you're going to promote your books or, you know, how you're going to get some readers and things like that. It's like you want to be thinking about what makes you stand out and what makes you different and then play that up. So whatever it is, you know, that's what you want to focus on. So if you have any questions about this, and I'm, this is another subject that I'm going to talk a lot about because, you know, it's a big part of just getting yourself out there as an authorpreneur and starting to build a readership and a following so that you can, you know, reach all of your writing dreams. So um, the cool part that I've actually got something to tell you about today. So I am super excited. I just launched a brand new mastermind group. It's called the Best Selling Author Mastermind. And I'm actually giving you a behind the scenes look at how I do my writing, how I get my books out there. And you're going to get to watch me as I move toward becoming a best selling novelist. Along the way, I'm going to be motivating you every single day, getting you super fired up and inspired to do your writing, to reach your writing goals, whatever they may be. And we're going to just make shit happen. This is going to be one of those groups where you don't just sit on your ass and, you know, um, kind of hang out in the background. No, you're going to be taking action. You're going to be seeing results happening in your writing life. And you're going to be very, very excited with how you, um, you know, just where you end up. So if you're interested and you want to check this out, you can go to jenniferblanchard.net slash mastermind. And we'd love to have you and join the group. So I will catch you next time. And thanks for joining me.